Hi, this is Ed Moten from URM Performance Tuning, and there's been a couple of questions on the forum as to uh, being able to uh, truncate um, large uh, logs in order to, I guess, to make them smaller so that uh, you didn't have all the clutter around them and stuff. So what I want to do is give you a real quick tutorial on how to do that. Um, it basically starts by opening up a log that you've run, and in this particular case, this log was for 5 minutes and 22 seconds. and what you want to do is basically use the zoom function and the zoom function can be found at the top using the plus or minus keys or if you're using a cursor you can actually roll the uh, uh, the wheel and that will actually open and close the amount that we're actually looking at so the the chart section in here will always show the uh, the area what we're talking about as far as the zoom area goes and when we zoom <clears throat> the also the uh, little rectangular box down here in the RPM indicators will tell you exactly where you are looking within the overall full uh, log session, right? So in this particular case, the zoom is telling us that we're looking at a 30 second SWAT um, based upon the five minutes and 22 seconds thing. Now, if we only were interested in looking at this part of it and we didn't want all the large uh, you know, log data to go with that, then what we can do is easily is we can go to log file and we can export the log file and when we do that what we want to do is we want to tell the file exporter that we want it to be exported in uh, HP tuners format the .hpl you can also uh, export it in comma separated text which would provide you with a columnized uh, printout based on everything that you're basically logging. So you'd be able to see an itemized list of horsepower and things, of, you know, depending on whatever you had that you were looking at. But in this particular case, we want to use the, uh, the log format, the standard log format for HP tuners. And instead of saying the entire log, which would be the 5 minutes and 22 seconds, we want to go to the visible range, which is then going to truncate this particular file that we're creating down to the 30 second zoom area that we're looking at. So we're basically going to export that and then we're going to just come up with a name for that. All right. So in this particular case, um, we'll call this uh, test short file. <clears throat> and we'll save that. Okay, so right now we're looking at the overall file uh, in this particular case, and if we just go to log file, open log, right, we can go find <clears throat> the test short file, and if we open that file, what you'll see now is, is that we're looking just primarily at that 30 seconds period of time. Right, so all your data is going to be represented by that. <clears throat> You're not going to have the clutter that's a bit that's around it, and it's, it's kind of a neat way to be able to shorten up your uh, runs if you wanted to go just look in, say, a, uh, a ramp run, right? So you didn't want to see all the stuff leading into it or exiting it. Then you could just zero in. You can uh, obviously change the uh, rectangular box or the zoom area and basically move it anywhere as you would want. And you could even truncate the truncated one, right? So, so is a great way to be able to shorten up your, your uh, log files and hope you enjoyed it and uh, please feel free to subscribe or to and to like and take a look at our website www.ermperformancetuning.com and see our products and services and we'd be more than happy to help you out with any tuning or training issues that, and requirements that you might have so thank you again and have a great night bye bye